Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're developing a pixel art game, one of the biggest challenges you're going to face is handling multiple resolutions, different aspect ratios, um, different uh, resolutions, etc. kind of cause your original pixel art to look different depending on how it's scaled. Now there are a number of different ways to go about solving this, but if you're a Unity developer, what you can do is the greatest thing of all, let someone else do the work for you. And that's exactly what we're going to look at today. Uh, there is now a pixel perfect camera option available for for Unity developers. It is available right here. I will toss this link down below as always. Uh, basically, one of the Unity developers has been working on a pixel perfect add-on. It's a camera component you basically just add to your scene and it handles the resolution scaling for you. It handles things such as uh, the calculations needed to scale the viewport with resolution changes, removing the hassles from the user. Uh, it can adjust the definition of pixel art rendered within the camera viewport through the component settings as well as preview any changes uh, immediately in game view using run and edit mood features. And what we're going to do is look at this component today. Grabbing it, you head on over to this link on GitHub, which again, it'll be down below. Uh, go ahead and grab that guy. So git clone and then paste and bring that guy in. Now you can actually, um, this is a full blown example project. You can actually bring this guy in. It's a package as we'll see using the package manager, uh, but it's easy enough just to start off this way. So now that that package is downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up. So that's C colon slash temp slash 2D pixel perfect. All right, open that up. Now, one of the things to be aware of, you do need to have 2018.2.0B3 or later installed uh, for this to work right. Now, I'll go ahead and import that guy in, and it's a pretty straightforward project. There's two scenes in it, one showing a tile map, uh, one showing just a bunch of different sprites in the pixel perfect manner. Um, yep, so version, let that import. And we'll give this a second. Doo, 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 doo. Now this is the first time I've run this Unity install, so there might be a little bit of uh, additional loading time. Uh, so actually, I'll just pause it until we're fully loaded. All right, there we go. Our scene is now loaded. Let's pick our scene to work with. So what we actually want is, I'll use this guy right here. And what this is, a bunch of different sprites set up in a, with using a conventional camera or the new Pixel Perfect camera. So you'll see in your scene, if we go into the, uh, okay, I've got a really weird layout going on. Uh, one second there. There we go. We're back to the normal conventional uh, default layout. So you'll see here you have a pair of cameras. You got your pixel perfect camera and your ordinary camera. And then there is a switch. Uh, there is a script that will switch between them. I believe that is attached here, camera manager. You see you've got your two different cameras you can set up. And then there is a little checkbox that allows us to alter between the two. So if we go over here to our game, you'll see right there. Right here, it can be used to toggle between the two different cameras. Now, you'll notice something though. This doesn't actually do anything in the editor. You need to do an official, you need to do an additional setting to get this to work. Basically, select your main camera, the pixel perfect one right here, and you'll notice there's a script attached to it. And if you want it to be able to run in the editor, click run in edit mode. Now, do notice that little warning that popped up. This will cause constant changes to the scene while active. But now that you've got that running, when you play here, you can now toggle between normal camera and the pixel perfect camera. But probably a better illustration of this is to go ahead and actually do a build. So let's do a build and run. And we're going to do it 640 by 480 first. So you can see uh, what it's like at tw um, twice its native resolution. It should scale up very nicely. So 640 by 480 full screen. And let's go ahead and run that. So here is scaled up using the normal camera. And then here you see the pixel perfect one. And everything is crisper, cleaner, pretty much more um, authentic to the source, and it scaled very well. Now let's close that down, and we'll do another build. Do, 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 do. And we will do this at 1080p instead. So we'll see how well it scales up. Go ahead and run that. Here you see the default camera at work, and here is the Pixel Perfect edition. And again, your art should be very consistent to the exact source art you started with, uh, with nice resolution scaling that basically this should look pretty much exactly the same at 320 by 240 as it does at 1080p um, 
as you can see here. Also, the animation over time shouldn't have any artifacts, shouldn't have any uh, weirdness going on, jaggies, etc. So that is the pixel perfect renderer in action. Again, all it is is implemented as a simple camera component. Uh, so let's go back and take a look at that. Uh, you can set the uh, pixels per unit. Uh, so set this value to match the PPU value of sprites in the scene. Here you set the reference resolution. So this is the um, source resolution of your art. Um, then you've got, or the, sorry, the resolution that your art is targeting. Uh, you can determine how it is uh, upscaled, etc. Again, you've got that toggle so that you can run it and preview it in the editor uh, at the cost of basically constantly updating the editor and probably CPU chewing through quite a bit more. Uh, but pretty, pretty straightforward in its use. Now you'll notice also there is another example the for tile maps uh, shows pretty similar stuff. Uh, once again, it has a camera. The both styles, the pixel perfect once again is configured. You can see they used a different pixels per unit on this example. But other than that, pretty straightforward showing basically the same stuff. Now, if you go back over to the documentation or the announcement right here, uh, you will see also instructions on how to get it installed as a package. And this is ultimately a package. So you don't need to grab the full example to take advantage of the uh, pixel perfect camera. It can be installed as a package, uh, which has already been configured in the example I download it but if you go on over here to the package manager you shall see 2d pixel perfect is there at a 1.0.0 preview uh, pretty cool stuff it, it's very simple to use so instead of having to you know do any logic for supporting multiple resolutions for your pixel game um, you can basically just bring this component in drop that camera into your scene and you shouldn't have to worry about multiple resolutions or aspect ratios anymore um, so again this is something that almost every single pixel artist is going to run into and it's cool to see that unity is providing a solution uh, so once again i will throw all of those links down below are you using uh, unity for 2d graphics for pixel art stuff have you uh, solved this problem yourself or is this tool going to be a great additional to your arsenal all right well let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will talk to you all later goodbye